Welcome back to online lecture two on unit number six, advanced air conditioning systems. Uh, this lecture we will discuss the second advanced air conditioning system that is evaporative cooling air conditioning system. Uh, evaporative co cooling system you already learned some direct evaporative cooling part in uh, RAC syllabus of PE. So this lecture we will uh, study mainly the different configurations of evaporative cooling air conditioning system. Uh, these are the contents. Mainly, we'll discuss the working principle of uh, three types of evaporative coolers. Uh, the, in fact, three configurations of the evaporative cooling systems. Then uh, their uh, uh, their integration with the conventional systems, so uh, hybrid uh, type systems. We will study and the different models of commercial systems and the advantages of evaporative cooling system. <coughs> This is a direct evaporative cooling system uh, where uh, on the cooling is achieved with the help of wetted pad or by spraying water. Uh, so if we see uh, in direct evaporative cooling system, uh, generally cooling and humidification process is taking place. Uh, so when the air is made to flow over a wetted pad or uh, spraying water, so wetted pad, pad is like this where the continuously water is dripping over this pad. So when the air is made to flow over this wetted pad, it gains uh, moisture and at the same time it loses its heat. Uh, the similar operation happens uh, if uh, the air is made to flow over the sprayed water. Uh, so in ideal cases, uh, so one to two is also called as a adiabatic humidification process. Uh, so in this process, the, uh, the total enthalpy remains constant only there is an exchange of heat. Uh, suppose at the inlet, the air is having a higher amount of sensible heat and lower amount of latent heat. So when it uh, made to flow through this uh, portion, then its sensible heat is reduced and latent heat in enhances so that the total enthalpy remains constant. Uh, three is the temperature of sprayed water or the temp surface temperature of the weighted pad. So depending upon the temperature, see if the temperature at of the wetted pad or the sprayed water temperature is equal to WBT of entering air, then this process is possible. If it is uh, less than uh, the WBT of entering air, in that case, there is uh, generally enthalpy rise happens. And if it is uh, greater than the uh, uh, WBT of entering air, then generally in that case, the enthalpy drop happens. Uh, so all three processes are possible, but ideal process is adiabatic humidification. And during this process, there is no change in enthalpy, only it changes. This is a direct evaporative cooling system, which mainly used in desert conditions when the atmospheric condition is hot and dry. Uh, the second evaporative cooling system is indirect evaporative cooling system. So this is a typical pictorial view of uh, indirect evaporative cooling system where the water is sprayed over the bunch of tubes and through its tubes, uh, the primary air is flowing. Uh, so in indirect evaporative cooling, there is no uh, direct contact of sprayed water and uh, the primary or process air. Uh, so in order to enhance the evap rate of evaporation, the secondary air is used uh, with the help of any ex uh, external agency like fan. Uh, the air is made to flow over this uh, bunch of tubes where the water is sprayed. So water gets evaporated uh, because of, and the air takes away that heat with, and some of water vapor also evaporated. So uh, this particular technique has a uh, better cooling effect, but uh, in this particular case, there is, as there is no direct contact between uh, the primary air and water, so no absorbed moisture is added in the air. So only the sensible cooling happens. So if the sprayed water temperature is below the dew point temperature of the entering air, uh, so in some cases, uh, there is a uh, uh, dehumidification is also possible. But most of the cases, uh, the sensible cooling happens. So where uh, there is only a requirement of cooling in uh, in that circumstances, the indirect evaporative cooling is used. So this is a generic diagram of indirect. Uh, in fact, two uh, fluids are used, secondary for air stream and the primary air stream. So only the sensible cooling happens in this case. Uh, 
in indirect direct evaporative cooling systems so the both uh, systems are used in combination and they are connected in series uh, so in the indirect uh, evaporative cooling only sensible cooling happens where in direct evaporative cooling the uh, cooling and humidification happens so this is a combination of both cooling and humidification happens so mm, this is uh, indirect direct evaporative cooling system so uh, inside the duct it is provided with this is indirect evaporative cooler and direct evaporative cooler so air first uh, flow through the indirect evaporative cooler so through these channels the air is primary or process air is flowing and over the tube uh, the air is uh, sorry water is sprinkled and on the exterior air is made to flow over these tubes so to enhance the rate of evaporation so the sensible cooling happens so that is uh, this is the process happen in indirect evaporative cooling indirect evaporative cooler and when it uh, it is made to flow over this direct evaporative cooling so that both cooling and humidification takes place so uh, two psychrometric processes happen in this case that is sensible cooling and cooling and humidification so if we compare this with uh, the direct evaporative cooling uh, so on the red process it shows the direct evaporative cooling and this is indirect direct evaporative cooling so uh, in this particular case there is almost uh, 60% less addition of moisture uh, up to 60% and uh, almost 5.1 degree celsius more temperature drop it uh, causes or it uh, develop 5.1 degree celsius more cooling so better comfort condition it provides that is so that's why uh, uh, in, this is a better option for cooling coil as well uh, so conventional package air conditioning system that is indirect uh, uh, indirect evaporative cooling uh, and Indirect, direct, indirect, direct evaporative cooling. So, this is indirect evaporative cooling. This is direct evaporative cooling. So, reduction in moisture as well as or drop in temperature as compared to the direct evaporative cooling. Uh, so, the advantages of indirect direct evaporative cooling are uh, it is energy efficient system because it can be uh, more uh, energy efficient for instant than the standard package air conditioning system. So even if we compare this system with the package conventional vapor compression cycle, it is more energy efficient. Uh, so it is observed that uh, it can save up to 65% of the energy uh, because whatever the energy is required, it is for the uh, pumping of water and some blower, which is comparatively less than the energy required for compressor for the same capacity. So it's energy efficient system. Uh, secondly, uh, these systems are CFC free um, uh, because no uh, harmful refrigerants are used. So only water and air is used for the cooling purpose. So that's why it is a CFC free cooling system. Uh, then third reason that it is a water saving. Uh, actually, uh, when the additional electricity needed for standard uh, package air conditioning system we consider. Uh, an indirect direct uh, system can use approximately 50% less water uh, than that of a package air conditioning system because uh, uh, there is a saving of 65% energy. Uh, so in order to produce this 65% energy, uh, especially in thermal power plant, uh, some water is required uh, in the cooling tower. So considering that water, there is almost 50% less water is required. So you can see the uh, because of the power companies primarily rely on large cooling towers and reservoirs uh, water to produce the electricity. So in that sense, uh, it saves the water. Uh, otherwise, uh, the water required is more in indirect direct cooling system. Considering the cumulative effect of uh, uh, the 50% uh, water can be saved. Uh, it is a comp competitive initial cost. An indirect direct uh, evaporative cooling system has a very competitive initial cost. Uh, this means that the savings uh, that an indirect direct system provides by cutting the operation cost, uh, sometime it is 50% and decreasing the maintenance cost because very less maintenance is required. 
uh, leads to a real long term saving at no additional uh, initial cost so it uh, saves capital cost as well as operating costs so that's why uh, it uh, cost wise it is more beneficial than the package air conditioning systems only uh, uh, in this system we have to compromise somewhat with the stringent con uh, conditions of the temperature and humidity these are some uh, models of ahu fitted with the humidifier uh, then uh, this is ahu fitted with the direct uh, evaporative cooler with a cooling coil and heating coil we can say this is a hybrid air conditioning systems so direct evaporative cooler is used for humidification purpose and some more cooling is and heating applications cooling coil is also provided so this is hybrid direct evaporative cooling system hybrid uh, indirect evaporative cooling system in that case uh, uh, indirect evaporative cooler is installed here followed by cooling coil and heating coil sensor return air so move return air from the return duct the outside air so the mixing takes place and this is a h unit uh, of a hybrid indirect evaporative cooling systems uh, these are some models of uh, direct evaporative coolers portable models uh, which are generally used for spot cooling or local cooling uh, this is the application where it is used in one factory for providing a local cooling uh, this is another photograph which provides the comfort conditions for the worker or operator uh, there are different uh, mounting arrangement this these are the roof mounting arrangement of evaporative coolers these are the outdoor units uh, provided on the roof and this is a, this is an indoor unit which supply the cold air uh, typically if the outdoor air is at 44 degrees celsius and it is dry it is meant to flow through this outdoor unit which is provided with this uh, pad material uh, with the water trough and the blower blower takes heat from all directions uh, when it uh, when the air comes from this pad material, wetted pad material, it gets cooled as well as humidified, and it's this cold air is supplied to uh, inside space. So you can see that 44 degrees Celsius air can be cooled up to 27 degrees Celsius, and it provides uh, comfort conditions for the occupant, uh, especially in the manufacturing sector because there it is not affordable to have a package air conditioning systems uh, so that's why to provide a comfort condition or to enhance the efficiency of the workers generally such kind of uh, cooling system economical cooling system is provided this is roof mounted and sometimes uh, the side mounted evaporative coolers are also used uh, uh, mainly on the north side if you install this uh, so the solar heat gain is also reduced and these are the various the duct on the cold air is supplied to different locations for spot cooling. Uh, another low cost uh, uh, solution that is uh, uh, only with the help of cooling tower also because cooling tower is generally used to cool the water. So the same cooling water is recirculating through the uh, different pipings provided here with the indoor units and the air is made to flow over these pipings to provide the comfort conditions so the same warm water is again recirculating through the cooling towers uh, where it uh, rejects it to the atmospheric air uh, so if uh, this is uh, another economical solution so our bargandarva is provided with uh, such uh, particular air conditioning system uh, that's why because uh, uh, it is a low cost solution uh, even the running cost is reduced substantially uh, that's why if we compare the cost of uh, uh, Bal Gandharva and uh, Ganesh Kadamandal, this is especially fitted in the Ganesh Kadamandal, not Bal Gandharva, sorry. In Bal Gandharva, conventional air conditioning system is installed. In Ganesh Krida, 
this uh, evaporative cooling system is installed. So obviously, if you compare the cost of rent, uh, Banal Gandharu cost is around uh, 1 lakh, 1.5 lakhs, depending upon the time duration for a particular day. Uh, while in Ganesh Krida, its cost is around only around 30 to 40,000. So substantial cost is reduced because of, uh, the package air conditioning systems consumes more energy compared to the evaporative cooling because there is only fan and uh, pumping cost is there. So no compressor system is there. So only water is recirculating through the uh, systems and whatever the uh, heat of the water, it is rejected in the cooling tower. So the low cost air conditioning system, this is the glimpse. Uh, so at the end of this particular topic, you should be able to explain the working principle of all three uh, configurations of evaporative cooler. That is direct evaporative cooling, indirect evaporative cooling, and direct indirect, the combination of both. That is direct indirect evaporative cooling. Uh, then uh, uh, their configurations with the uh, conventional system, it is called the hybrid systems. And you should be able to uh, illustrate different models of the commercial systems, then advantages of uh, the system uh, over the package air conditioning system. Uh, uh, that's it. Only the short note is expected, but if, uh, it is recommended to go through the question bank, what type of questions are asked on evaporative cooling. It's what is, if it is the ask for, it will, it will be asked for four to six marks. Uh, so next lecture we will uh, study the third type that is the thermal storage uh, air conditioning system. Thank you very much.